Here is an explanation for the answer, or answers, to final exam question number 98, found on page 389 of Trigonometry Demystified, second edition. Here we're dealing with the infinite series expansion of the sine function. If we express theta in radians, then the sine of theta equals theta minus theta cubed over 3 factorial plus theta to the 5th over 5 factorial minus theta to the 7th over 7 factorial plus minus plus minus and it goes on forever. We can approximate this sine of any angle theta by carrying this calculation out to a few terms. Well, we are asked here about the sine of 5 pi over 6. 5 pi over 6 radians. So we would just plug in 5 pi over 6. We can grind that out with our calculators and discover that in fact this approaches 1 half because the sine of 5 pi over 6 radians actually equals 1 half. So we know that, that, I hope that you don't go to the trouble of actually grinding out these calculations term by term by term and zeroing in on the answer that way, but the value of the series itself, that is the partial sums, approach 1 half. So the answer, according to the book, is C. But, as with the previous question, it's worded just a bit ambiguously. The question asks us about the term value, that is, what happens to the value of these individual terms, and if you want to interpret it that way, then these terms approach zero, just as they do in the previous problem, number 97. We have the same am ambiguousness. So if you answered this question as B, I would give you credit for that. I'd give you credit for C as well. The book says C, but I'm telling you now, either one of these, perfectly all right.